Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent PowerUp webinar covering video compression with Adobe Media Encoder CS6. In this session, I want to show you how to create a watch folder with Adobe Media Encoder. What a watch folder does is it allows me to monitor a specific folder or group of folders in the Finder. I can assign compression settings to the watch folder so that when a new file gets dumped into that watch folder, it's automatically compressed based upon the settings that I set here. The only requirement is that Adobe Media Encoder needs to be running all the time for the folders to be watched and that watch folder must always be accessible to this computer. So it could be located locally, it could be on a server, it just has to always be available. Let's get ourselves ready for this. Let's create a new watch folder. Click the plus button. On my third drive, I want to create a folder. We'll call it AME Watch Folder. You could call it anything. You could, the name is totally irrelevant. I'm just going to pick something that's obvious and click Choose. So now I've got a watch folder assigned here. And I want to create, let's see, I want to add my ProRes transcode here. I can get rid of this one, so we'll just highlight it. No, nope. highlight it and hit the delete key. I want to add my web compression. And let's add something for the iPhone. So let's go to here, let's go to devices, Apple, and let's pick an iPhone. Say, oh, pick something small. This one right here. Drag that down. Okay, what I've just done is I've said whenever I drag a file into this watch folder, it's going to automatically create a custom setting, which is, say, for the um, iPhone. It's going to create a version for my website, and it's going to create a version for uh, ProRes. All right, let's just do that. Let's open up the third drive. There is my watch folder. Except, I don't want to have, notice inside the watch folder, it automatically creates a folder called output. That's where the output is going to go for these compressed files. But I don't want them to be stored in a watch folder. I want them to be stored in this compressed files folder. So go back to here and double click. And I want the output to go to compressed files. Double click. I want the output to go to compressed files. And here, just because I can, I'm going to leave the output go to the output folder inside the AME watch folder. So I can have them go to different outputs. And we'll click Choose. Watch what happens when I take this file. This is such a cute file. Look at this. Does that not make you feel like you're back in the disco era? <laughs> All right, enough of that. Too much, too much frivolity here. Let's go to our third drive, grab Dancing Heart, and drag it into the watch folder. As soon as it's there, a couple things. Notice that I've got this checkbox called Auto Encode Watch Folders. What that means is, because AME is running and because that box is checked, look at what it's doing down here. It's encoding all three of these files at the exact same time. And it's showing me that I don't have to do one, then do the next, then do the next. It'll take advantage of as many processors as you've got to be able to compress this video. And it's sending it to all the different locations. It's compressing it with all the different sizes. And in just a few seconds, it's done. Let's go back here. Third drive. There's the output. There's our small dancing heart, the reason the letterboxing is there is because it was set to a 4 by 3 size. If we scroll down to compressed files, there's our ProRes version. How do we know it's ProRes? Double click, spacebar, command I. Look at that. ProRes 422, 1280, 720. Uncompressed audio. All right, let's close that. Let's open the next one. This is the MP4. Also, 1280, 720, H.264, AAC audio, 10 frames a second, a fraction of the size of the ProRes version, because this is ready for posting to the web, and yet still great looking quality. 
So what I was able to do is to drag one movie into that watch folder and it automatically gets compressed based upon all the different settings that I've got here, sends it to different destinations. Very, very cool. And I can have as many watch folders as I want. And each watch folder can send, not only store it to a local drive, it can FTP it to YouTube or Vimeo or my local website. Watch folders are just cool. This has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on video compression using Adobe Media Encoder CS6. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 75.